making music by myself and shit. Eminem too. I fuck with Eminem. Marshall. When I was doing <laughs> shit, uh, when I was finding music like on YouTube and shit, I uh, started finding like Tyler the Creator, Earl Sweatshirt, people like that. I Future really turned me up with the rap shit, like, and then from there, like, I started listening to like Future, yeah, and Thug and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I was real inspired Monster by like mode. real rap. You know? Some of his favorite artists growing up was obviously Playboy Cardi, Future, Tyler the Creator, and Tyler the Creator was a really interesting, interesting one. He even said Two Chains and Little Wayne. You know what I mean? So like, Destroy Lonely has a really dark sound. Yo, nice meeting you. Peace out, TM Beats 2022, or 2020. So Destroy Lonely just definitely has like a dark kind of aesthetic sound. Very similar to Playboy Cardi, if you know what I'm saying. And you know, like his influences are Lil Wayne, 2 Chains, Odd Future, like Tyler the Creator and all of those people. TM Beats says, Dax is fire too. What's really funny is Dax is actually going to be performing at the city I'm in right now in about a month's time. So I'm probably going to go check out Dax. So yeah, Dax is, Dax is pretty cool. He's also from Canada as well. I believe Dax is from Ottawa, I think. I'm in British Columbia, so he's across the province, but still the same country. But yeah, so Destroy Lonely, some of Destroy Lonely's influences are Odd Future and Little Wayne and Tuching, which is really interesting because... Destroy Lonely has a very dark aesthetic, kind of very similar to Playboy Cardi, kind of kind of just like the trap simple rhyme scheme and stuff like that. But he's just riding those pockets with different melodies. TM Beat says, Dax wordplay isn't like anyone. He's intense with it. Yeah, Dax definitely has some fire wordplay. I almost look at Dax as kind of like a theater, like a theoretic, I don't know if that's a word, like a like a theater type of rapper, right? Like all of his music videos are kind of like, he plays them out, right? He's kind of in a different lane of, of rap. He's like, he makes music that's like, kind of like a story. It's like, it'll be good for like a play. Like, I feel like he's the type of people, type of rapper, so to like have a fire Broadway show because he could just really, like really act it out, right? Like I would definitely go see that live, right? And I think rappers should start doing that. That's your lane, right? He's like, you know what I mean? So like, even just his music videos, like he plays those characters. Like he, he'd be wearing clown, like clown makeup and like clown mask and everything. And really portraying those characters in a strong way. And I think it'll be amazing to see him like at a play or whatever. Yeah, have a great day, TM Beats. Keep it up with the music. I appreciate the likes and I appreciate the love on this, on this live, man. I appreciate it. Yo, what's up, King Kang 2? Yeah, I'll talk to you soon too, I hope. I'll give you I'll give you a follow. I just followed you TM TM Beats 2020. We'll stay in contact. So yeah, Destroy Lonely just has a lot of weird influences compared to his sound. Like he has like a dark, kind of like a like a vamp sound and it's kind of cool that some of his influences are like Odd oh, Future, Tyler the Creator, who kind of make more of lyrical rap compared to um, TM Beat says TikTok blocked me from function, from function literally. TikTok blocked me from a, from a, from a function literally. I'm not too sure what you mean by that necessarily. What do you mean by that? TikTok blocked, blocked you from the function literally. I don't know what you mean. Yo, what's up, Blue Medusa? So over Destroy Lonely, someone said, yeah, my dad showed me a lot of old school hip hop, like Pooh Shicey and Lil Baby. So I think that's really cool. Like, I think Destroy Lonely's dad was actually, was actually a decent sized rapper too. And he was more on like the lyrical lane. So pretty much rap nowadays is, Definitely more driven by at least mainstream rap and the underground is definitely definitely driven by the production with, with heavy synth beats like Yeet, Ken Carson, Sofago. Even if you go all the way to Atlanta scene of trap, or like the trap sound, of Little Baby, Future, Young Thug. And I think all of those sounds are absolutely insane. But now Destroy Lonely and Playboy Cardi and everybody in Opium is kind of just using those synth beats 
and then it's kind of flowing very simple in the pocket. But I think it sounds absolutely fire. Because you have to listen to those synth type, playable cardi, destroy lonely type artists. Kind of like you're listening to rock music or electric dance music. It's kind of a background background music that you just kind of like jam out to, hear their pockets, hear their flows and the beats. And I think it's I think it's super fire, if you know what I mean. Yo, what's up, M.M. Noor? What's up, TM Beats? Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the likes. Someone commented, Top Floor Boss. Yeah, the song Top Floor by Destroy Lonely is such a, such a fire song. The beat on that song is so, so fire. I can't get over how fire the some of the beats Destroy Lonely raps over. Someone said, ain't no such thing as real rap. I definitely disagree with that opinion. There is definitely considered real rap. Even just like how rap started. But I also love how it evolved. Like I love how rap evolved to so many different subgenres. Just like how rock evolved to so many different subgenres. You got punk rock, you got alternative, you got grunge, you got metal, right? So now hip hop's kind of doing the same thing. You got the kind of the, the backpack rap, you got the lyrical, like the lyrical rap, you get the, the trap, you get alternative rap, you get the, the hyper pop rap. There's just so many different lanes of rap and I just love it. You know what I mean? And I like every style of rap. There's a time and place for everything. Like, I just love how rap just branched out to so many different styles. Like, it's it's so fire. Like, I just love how it branched out to so many different styles. Like, he even got Nas. Like, Nas is still dropping a very fire project. Like, um, I forget his most recent project, but it was absolutely insane. And Nas is 48 years old and still going at it. Eminem is still going at it. He's almost 50. He's still killing it with... He's still killing it right now. Sure, like a lot of people may not enjoy Eminem. But if you read his lyrics and look at some of his metaphors, his wordplay, and just look at rap genius, all these different words, it's absolutely insane. He's the best he's ever been lyrically. And you got to respect that. You know what I mean? I may not personally enjoy it sonically as much, but I can respect really good hip hop when I hear it and see it. You know what I mean? Even people like Black Thought, like Black Thought is so fire. I don't know if you've ever seen Black Thought's freestyle on the, uh, I think it was The Breakfast Club. Maybe not The Breakfast Club, it was on, I think it was Hot 97. He was just going in for like 10 minutes straight. You know what I mean? So there's just so many different subgenres of rap. If you know what I'm saying, you know what I mean.